Hello! 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 Gamers! Gamers. Oh, I didn't have an intro this time. Like, oh my god, as soon as we I, start. Like, it has to be a thing, right? As soon as we start, she comes. Like, she knows that we're streaming, so she's like, time for my, time for me. Time for my debut. I think she does know, because she came running straight over, and now she's trying to get in your lap and lay down. You can't. Oh my goodness. Oh my this is goodness. unbelievable. Ms. Olive, Hello. Hello. Thank you for the outfit compliments, everyone. Thank you. Julia, we both independently decided to put on little little outfits for tonight. And then Julia came out of the bathroom in her dress and I was in my overalls and we like Spider-Man pointed. <laughs> I think I specifically said that I didn't feel like putting on a whole outfit. So I put on a dress. Yeah, which I thought was very funny. <laughs> Like most people you know, would consider a dress to be an outfit. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like I didn't feel like picking out a top and uh, putting on pants. I was in pajamas earlier. A I dress is in fact more of an outfit, I think, typically for people than pants and a shirt. That's true. But it's less thought. It's, it is less thought. It's yeah. just a black dress. That's very true. Whatever. That's very true. Miss Olive. The cats are back on medicine, so they're happy because they get a lot of tuna. But we've been struggling with them tonight. They've been making it difficult. Joy got too excited for the tuna, so she gobbled it all up and then threw it up, even yeah. though we portioned it out as we usually do. So she shouldn't have, but she did. She goes for speed. Oh, she truly she's does. A, she's a speed runner. She gobbles it all up and then so that maybe she can get more uh and then olive we put her in a in our bedroom and close the door with the food so that joy doesn't steal it from her because she's easily pressured off of food just doesn't eat it so we screamed a lot and then um we just put it on the floor Gave up. I laid down on the floor, and then Olive started to eat, and uh, and then I was just mad about that. Yep, <laughs> it's it's been a real evening of trials of cat yeah. trials, because we need the cats to eat the medicine so that yeah. it it cures the the problems. The thing. But if they throw up the medicine or don't eat it, there's then we're just like, what do we do? We we have no recourse. Yeah. They have decided, they have chosen to remain ill and we can do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very annoying. Uh, people asking about my earring. I don't remember exactly where I got this one from. Was this an Etsy one? I got a bunch on Etsy. It might have been Etsy. I really don't remember though. Yeah. I couldn't but there's it. a bunch like this Yeah. on Etsy, like chain ones with a little, with a little long bit. Mm -hmm. So I do recommend trying Etsy for earrings. There's lots of good ones on there. Get a slow feeder for joy. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. We do. We 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 have we when she's eating properly and correctly, she's fine. Mm -hmm. And we have it all like portioned out to avoid this problem. If there is a food thing to try, we've tried it. Yeah. Uh, we've done it, and now we just portion out her food so that we give her little bits and in hour increments. Yeah. Anyways, we're not talking about the cats. We're talking about Dark Souls. Dark Souls. You're back on it. Back again. Last, Last night, I was in Raft. Yep. On Dan's boat plane. Yep. Uh, we left Dan for a week, uh, unassigned to the task of getting into Raft, and uh, he assigned himself the task of getting into Raft. Uh, so he made a boat plane. Someone's username is Jacob's Dangly Earrings. <laughs> They're here. It's here. They were waiting for this moment. Um, 
But yeah, that'll be on the the VOD channel. If you don't know about the VOD channel, Secret Sleep Wars Society on YouTube. The wonderful Kaz takes care of it. So thank you, Kaz, as always. Yep, go check that out. And then, um, but today we're in Dark Souls. I'm going to read some subs so we can get get on with it. Get on with our lives. Do it, do it, do it. Do we got it, subs it. from the world's darkest soul, Sax Rindell. I almost said Cax Rindell. I don't know what that is. Kate Dice, my Lithologica, read Mark's damn it, Necro Yamser. Necro Yamser. I get it. Necro Yamser. Charco Rogue, Animanimini, Grimdell. Pierce FC9 gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Constantly Screaming Beard, Wibbles Dibbles, Clearly Crystals, Hey Pot, Way Pot, Rainbow Rice 98, Unbelievable, Toasterous, 12 Voltman, Abiding Phantom, PLP 12, Hannah Bell, Feathers and Pixels, Snow J 425, Anna Plays Video Games, Garlic Bread Yankee Candle, Fred McTaker, excuse me, Jenna Hello, Emmy the Mac, there and Jack again. Idolize your idle eyes. Halflings. Look who's tagging. Look who's tagging. Dizzy Tuna. Idolize your idolize. Give out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. A silly Momo. Underwater fungi party. Coyote got. Pizza Mojado. Bees in a sweater. Pizza Weasel. Sequin trash bag. Prince Burb. The Reaper 101399. Redwood Seas. Lumbajacky. Irios99, Hexchem252, Trying Out Demi, Toxic Bucket, Arlo Arcana, Fine Sunny Day, and Woozy Fetus gave out two subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Damn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So when we last left this game, yes. you had beaten two of the lords. You Lord beat, Slayer Granny Smith. You had beaten Seath, the Scaleless, um, and you beat him twice. <laughs> That's right. Actually. And I got all of the souls both times. Um, in a weird sort of turn of events. And then you beat Nito, which you hated. I hated Nito. I hate those kinds of fights. It's so stupid. But you did do it. You finished I it. I did, yeah. So now we got we got other places to head. I say we get into it. Why not? That's I say we do. get into I'm it. Why not? Blast through this. You're gonna blast off like Team Rocket. You're gonna blast off like Team Rocket. Continue. Do you want your headphones? Yes. Olive, do you mind if I put my headphones on? Oh yeah, no backseat gaming. Please. That's why we have Jacob. It was at the top. Oh, you labeled it. Yeah. Wow. Is that going to bother you? It's fine. So our next destination, we're going to need to warp at this bonfire. If you want to take a moment to reacquaint yourself with the controls. No, that's it. To that's avoid um, punching yourself off of any cliffs. It might not be the worst idea. You shut up. You shut up. We warping. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to... Where are we dropping, the boys? Daughter of Chaos. Oh, that's me. Leaned a little far over that fire. I'm a little toasty. Oh, look why you look so annoyed. Oh. So right. you remember Ceaseless Discharge? Yes. It's time. His time has come. His days are numbered. Do I have a thing for this lady? I don't think so. You can talk to her, though. Oh, you do. You can reinforce your Estus. Do you have another one? No, just one. Because you had to kill um, that firekeeper that we like. I did have to, in fact, kill her, yeah. Oh, no game sound. You didn't turn the game sound on. Oh, diggity dang. Sorry, everyone. Make it a little louder. I usually like minus 12 or so for this game. That should be good. Mm. 
It's all gonna be fixed. Done it. Okay. So, oh, I was doing something. Okay. What were you doing? Oh, on equipping the lantern? Yeah. Because we don't need it anymore. We don't need it. We've gotten through. I feel like I would have a really hard time playing this game right now mm. because of some of the control changes in Elden Ring. Yeah, now also the UI is huge. The, the UI is massive. Now that I'm accustomed to um, A being jump. Yeah. And having to hold, I guess on that it would be Y. Hold Y and hit R1 to two hands. All of my freaking muscle memory would be down the damn turlet. Yeah, different interact button, it would be ruined. So, yeah. I just tried to R3 to, I remember this map a little bit. I just tried to R3 to uh, do the little whip that's in uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Different game. Yeah, we can't whip. No whipping. There's no whipping here. No whipping to tell me where I'm going. Having no guard counter would fuck me up for days. Yeah, the stuff like that that I'm used to now. Where's my weapon arts? I just can't believe how big the item UI on the left is. It makes it's sense really... for the TVs that we were playing this on at the time. It's but... like a quarter of the screen real estate. <laughs> <laughs> there's no. Legitimately, it is. <laughs> there's literally no reason it has to be that big. You're stuck. Uh oh, and you can't jump. It's over. <laughs> it's over for Granny Smith. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what are you equipping? Oh, your pyromancy flame. I think that'll be really useful against this man you made shut entirely up. You of shut fire. Up. You shut up. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I'm actually proud of you too. I could tell by your tone that you were proud of me, and that's not sarcasm. Yeah, um, I, I was, but you remembered it. <laughs> oh, hello, big boy. So, I hustle a little bit. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Nah. I don't remember, I don't think I've ever fought Ceaseless Discharge legit. And I think I have shared with you before the, the method, the quick kill method. You, you have, but I forgot. You can still do it, but it's going to be harder since he's aggroed. Do I need to lure him over here? If you want to do it, you have to run all the way around to where you picked up this armor set. I just tried At least that doesn't do that much damage to you anymore, so. That's true. You should be able to survive just fine. And then once you're there, run all the way back to the entrance. Through the front, or can I use it the back? It doesn't matter, you can use the back. And um and unequip your halberd. Yeah, you just you just start running. Now? Yeah. Go granny, go granny, go. Go granny, go granny, go. <laughs> this is discharge having too good of a time back there. Okay. Now what? You go all the way back to the fog gate. Okay. This is the quick kill that everyone does. Nobody fights Ceaseless Discharge. So, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, run all the way till you're like basically touching the fog gate and then turn around. He should ideally do a leap and land with his hand on the thing. Target his hand, unequip your halberd, and punch his hand five times. Just keep punching. Yeah, there it is. I'm sorry. Ceaseless discharge, quick kill. Wow. Enjoy, everyone. Have fun. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I remember that being in a video, but I couldn't remember what like to do at the fog gate. It's the only way. <laughs> it's really funny. So the reason it kills him is because when he jumps at you and grabs the ledge, he's actually dangling over the sort of like deep abyss part. Um, like the lo big lava pit. And it's just like the number of hits on his hand determines when he loses his grip and falls. So if you punch, it's just quicker. You don't have to unequip, but if you do, then you just do it faster. But that's the reason that it that it happens that way. You essentially fist bumped him. I did. So now, as you've seen, the lava has drained. Yes. Thus opening your way forward. And we'll get to pass through um, a few areas. There's a lot of areas you'll be going through that are really cool, I think. But you'll really see where they bumped up against some of the time constraints. Mm. Like when you look ahead and see the uh just a squad of big boys. The five Taurus Demon Brigade. <laughs> just waiting. Where were they? In the lava? We were in the lava? They're just hanging out. Uh okay, there's an item over there. I'm gonna go get that and because I don't wanna fight the boys quite yet. I will tell you too. That. I know you've been watching me play Elden Ring. True. And Lava and Elden Ring is sort of just like, basically like a keep off the grass sign level of threat. Yeah. Um, Lava and Dark Souls is a, a kill you. Oh, fully A kill assumed. you level of threat. Fully assumed that, yes. I mean, I assumed it was going to be that way in Elden Ring, but instead you can just walk through it and your guy's like, ow, ow, owie, ow, well, stop, so ow. <laughs> I assumed that it was, you know, uh, real life lava threat lava um when we got to elden ring and you were like i don't know what to do about this lava i don't want to step on it yeah i had to look up a guide for like a dungeon because i was like there's nowhere i can go it's all lava oh my god you weak baby <laughs> he's a babe he's but a babe oh clown him julia Meat. God. Me! But yeah, I looked up a guide and it was like, just walk through the lava. And I was like, what? Yeah, it was like, just roll. You're immune. I will say, as far as my Elden Ring progress... Mm -hmm. People were asking. I, I don't want to give any big spoilers, but... I, I've done the mountaintop of the giants and the thing that you do at the end of that. And then I went to the optional snow area. And now I'm at the boss that's largely considered to be the hardest boss. And I don't know what to do. I think my playthrough ends here. Excuse me? What the hell is that? Don't worry about that. What? Hello? What? That's exactly where I am as well. Yeah, I gotta figure out a strategy for uh, for handling that fight. Oops. Oh, see, there's a second swing. I was expecting the second swing before, and so you just did one. Can you punch your hand? <laughs> there needs to be a punch hand strategy for that boss. Baby. Weak baby. I did switch from Moonvale to the uh, wing of Astel. Ast Astel? 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 So that's I what I've been using. I never ask until. <laughs> A lady never asses and tells. <laughs>
Now, now I have some real the captain energy. Yeah, you're, you're, you are just the captain now. Slowly walk towards people and they die. I know we talked about the the captain comic in one of the streams, mm -hmm. but to reiterate for people that might not have seen it, there's this comic that went around. It was like a stick figure comic, basically, and it was about like souls bosses, and it was like, you know, a huge like horrible demon guy that was like El Toth, the realm destroyer, and it's like no problem. But when you see like a lone dude standing in the distance, called Normal something size. like called something like the captain. Like, then you know you're fucked. What the hell And so are every you? time in Elden Ring, when I see a person, a human-sized person standing in the distance, I'm like... Oh, you ain't shit. I'm like, oh, it's another captain. You got real the captain energy. Yeah. Yeah, Jake, when I saw a dude way in the distance, uh, what was it, yesterday when you were playing? Yeah. And we were just like, oh, that's the captain. That's the captain. Worm. I guess it's more of a centipede. <laughs> Commander Nile. Yeah, Commander Nile was big time the captain. Yeah. You did not like fighting that man. It was just because of his summons. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the worm was just like, stop! <laughs> no! Stop it! I'm looking at the shiny. I think if you just hit him once more, he's dead. I wanted to set him on fire. Yeah. I was about to tell you to do a jumping attack. And you can't do that the same way. No. Got his ass. I keep rolling forward for some reason. It's not like what I'm trying to do. But my character keeps rolling forward. So as I recall, we were focusing vitality and endurance. I can live love. Because you already do so much damage. And the Black Knight Halberd doesn't scale very well with any stats. When I was a young warthog. Every time I pick up one of those proud night souls, I think of that song. <laughs> Why? Because one of them's like proud night. When I was a proud night soul. When I was a proud night soul. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. Thanks. Ew. Should, should we go for this guy? Oh, hey, you're we're... going. You're going already. You're going already. Okay. Hey, okay, buddy, I'm you right got a problem? You. I'm right behind you. Hey, pal. What are you doing down here, buddy? You got an issue? That guy was eating flaming hot Doritos. Flaming <laughs> hot Doritos. <laughs> it's usually Cheetos. Is it? <laughs> Historically. I really love the design of these dudes. They just crack me up. Oh, there's a big boy over there. No, a little boy. I love that little boy just standing by himself over there. He's, very visible. He's trying to be a, the captain, but yeah. we know he's not. We can tell. He's like trying... He's trying to be a, the captain because he sees this guy and he's like, yeah, I'm going to be I'm gonna be that guy. Just eat me. Just yeah, eat me. that dude in the middle is the captain. That guy's going to get demoted and I'm going to be the captain. And he's like, once he's gone, I'm going to stand right there in that same spot. And then people are going to show up and be like, oh, no, it's the captain. But it'll be me. What hit this? I'm scared. What's gonna get thrown at me? Or is it just this boy that came up here and wrecked someone? All right, come on over. Come on over, ball boy. The ball boys really have like nothing. Nothing. They they spit fire very slowly, and that's like all they have okay. in their arsenal. There's so many big boys. Mm. Oh, mamma mia! Oh, you don't got hops. You got nothing. 
Turns out this guy's not the captain. That other, the captain guy was like, I'm going to be this guy, the captain. And this guy was like, someday I'm actually going to be the captain. Yeah, he's like, they don't realize I'm not actually the captain. <laughs> <laughs> they keep letting me stand here because I'm big. But I have the exact same HP as anyone else around here. That is like... <laughs> A, a real big dude problem though like everyone expects you to, to be like big and strong and you're just like sometimes sometimes you're not yeah this is a nice like reminder of um... i didn't want to roll off the cliff yeah, and I, I, was, I do not that was reasonable i do not trust the rolling in this game enough that was just me being stupid. That was stupid. Alright. You know what we're gonna do? Thank you. I was gonna say it's a nice reminder of how far you've come. But then I wanted to make sure that the fight <laughs> ended positively. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that was appropriate. It was, uh, it was wise of you. Just sashaying up. Little granny steps. That wasn't your fault. There, there was nothing you could do about that. He just got you with the push. He gently slid me off of the cliff. Yeah, he just slid you off with his leg. Oh, that's cool. What is that? Oh, that's what that was, huh? Part of a whole network of little centipedes. That's gross. I hope you don't encounter anything like that in the near future. Oh, I got scared for a second and then I realized it was just Ball Boy. It's just Ball Boy. When I was a proud knight soul. <laughs> Have I ruined it for you? <laughs> Beware my mighty flames! Ow! I thought I kicked him. I thought I did a flying kick for a second. Chop! 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 Ooh. Jacob got new speakers. Surround sound speakers. For the living room. I did. It's been and very exciting. Board. Good golly. Um, but, you know, uh, the majority of what we watch are like, you know, no pressure cooking shows. Um, just because, uh, you know, we're usually watching TV. We don't have to explain meals. ourselves. Okay, fair enough. It's just what we do. <laughs> hey, come over here. <laughs> 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 I'll show you what's what. You, when you come right over here, you'll find out who's the real captain. <laughs> oh, you walking away. I can't do nothing about that. Um, but Food Network, I think we've talked about this before. Yeah, Food Network, we've talked about the chop sound effect. Food Network loves this one single chop sound effect. They use it in everything. Uh, for just nonsense. Like sliding a knife on a cutting board. They'll use the chop sound effect. Uh, but now we get that in, you know, 360 audio. 360 chops. Yeah, no scope. We got 360 chops. I'm in the chop. Yeah, we live in the chop now. We're like in the cutting board. What cooking shows do we recommend? Recommend? Uh, right now we're watching. There's a Guy Fieri show called Tournament of Champions. Continue. 
is fine. There's That's a guy, how I feel. There's a Guy Fieri show called Tournament of Champions. It's really fun because it's a lot of really high profile chefs competing in a single elimination tournament to determine the best. It's very anime. It's very Food Wars. Yeah. Uh, it's like real life Shokugeki. And it's nice because the judges that are on it don't see who made the dish, and also the judges don't know who's, who's in, in the, competition. the competition. Yeah, so it's and, like totally blind judging. Yeah, and the people who are competing don't know who the judges are going to be, so they can't like cater their their food to a specific judge. Yeah, like that's everything's really fun. blind. And it's on its third season right now. Yeah. And so if you watch from the beginning, you'll start like recognizing the chefs that come back, and you'll like have favorites. And yeah. It starts to feel like you're watching sports. Who's that dude I really like? That's like really who's been surprising people because he's like mostly a guy's grocery games guy. Um, Darnell. Yeah. The super chef Darnell Ferguson. Yeah, super chef. He's been awesome. I I just I will watch anything that that man is in because yeah. he seems like such a sweet a sweet man. Oh god, it's just you. Uh, what's it on? We've been watching it on Discovery Plus. Yes, it's on like Food Network or whatever. Yeah. It's on the Guy channel. Got his ass. Uh. Revenge. Oh, DIY SOS, hell yeah. Tell me where you found it, cause I can't find it anywhere in the US. Uh. Did you explain that each round of competition is also randomized on the spot i did not yeah but it is they've got a big randomizer wheel it's got like five different randomized elements yeah it's like a a, a, a food they have to highlight uh, a thing they have to use yeah like uh, some sort limit. of like cooking method yeah like they had one today where like something had to be whipped and they had to use like a snow cone machine Anyway, it's really fun if you like that kind of thing. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like this. Don't like that. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people don't know about Discovery Plus. Oh, it's so good. But if you are into that type of thing. If you like Food Network and also uh, <laughs> ghost shows. Yeah. I mean, we just Plus. use it to watch cooking shows. Yeah. And there's so many cooking shows. It's got the most cooking shows by a large margin. Like Alex versus America. Guys, Grocery Games has really made me uh, change my opinion on Alex Mornichelli. Because I had only ever seen her in Chopped. And in Chopped, I'm convinced they just edit everyone to sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the boys! Is this an intervention? We need to talk about all the killing you've been doing down here. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Get out of there, Granny! You don't want to be in there. I feel like I got off on the wrong foot here. You got a green titanite shard though, didn't you? Oh, Granny! I hate that noise. <laughs> Granny's in danger. She sure is! Oh, I like that move. I like when he barks. That move is pretty safe. Ooh. Oh, he didn't really care no. that much. Well, he saw his friends were dead. Oh, that is very sad. And he was like, what's the point? Send me with them. It's the Lodge Flame Impa. Oh my god, I love the Lodge oh. Flame Impa. That's a fuzzy... Acorn. Egg vermifuge. I'm gonna put out some more toony fish for joy. Yes. Good thinking. 
We've laced tuna fish with medicine. I found it. Anyway, yeah, Discovery Plus, wonderful. We watch all of Guy's Grocery Games. It has all of Guy's Grocery Games. It has all of Worst Cooks, a show that I love. Yep. Um, Because Worst Cooks is great because the first episode, uh, both of the instructors are just like, Good Christ, what are you doing? You're trying to uh, put a chicken cutlet in a toaster. Like, what? What? what's happening? And then, like, halfway through, they're so proud of them that they start to cry. <laughs> yeah. And they get emotional. It's a good show. It's good. Oh, there's an item up there. Well, when I die, I'll pick it up. When you die? Yeah. What if you don't ever die again in the game? That would be impressive. What if you do a hitless run for the rest of the game? Watch out, he's swinging! He's swinging on you! Ah! <laughs> Get away! Yeah, this is Dark Souls Jesus. Remastered for anyone who's, who's right. asking. Come waste my time. It's not a good remaster. Wait, nothing. Well, you don't know. You haven't seen the original in a long time. Well, I, I just know that it, the way they did it made a lot of things look, like, actively worse. Mm. Like, in the original, they had, like, a lot of, like, occlusion on, like, distant objects. That when oh, you were, right. like, looking into the distance, it made things look more convincing. Right. And in this one, they were like, make all the textures high res and then remove, like, all the fog and, like ambient effects so it looks like a bunch of boxes in the distance when you're looking at like a town yeah okay cleared that out pretty nicely enter the fog oh where do we go now where do we go Where do we go now? Do I go through the fog gate? Because it's more likely that it's either a boss or there's going to be like a bonfire nearby. I'm going to go here. Oh, that was a mistake, huh? It's... Oh, it's you! But he's on fire this time. This time he makes things explode. To do a little crotch chug. For some reason I always thought that he did that further away from his own body. The explosions are new to Demon Fire Sage. Really? Yeah. Finish it. Finish it, Granny. Victory achieved. Demon's Catalyst? Where is my bonfire? I've been promised the bonfire. What happened to you? It's a mess. Where's my James Bond fire? What did I just get? Uh, it's a catalyst. It's a staff for oh. sorceries. I don't need that. I ain't no sorceress. It's thanks Spaghetti's first time catching the stream. Hello. Said they've been trying to catch it for ages. Thanks, thanks Spaghetti. Thanks, thanks Spaghetti. Welcome. I too thank spaghetti. Whenever I eat it. 
Thank you. I don't like the grumbling I'm hearing is the problem. I'm very scared because I have very little help. I'd like to remind you about... Yes, yes, yes. Didn't even have to do it. Didn't you put them on your hot bar? Your Estus bar? Yep. Crushed. So much to explore. Oh, was this just... Oh my god, you scared me. And I realized who you were and I immediately wasn't scared. <laughs> I was not frightened any longer. <laughs> These poor boys. I'm not convinced anyone's ever died to those. <laughs> Don't make fun of me, I was born like this, please. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Maybe if we all get together. <laughs> Face the ultimate threat. <laughs> Three ball boys. Oh no! <laughs> We were just as weak together as we were apart. Triple boy kill. Oh. <laughs> TBK. <laughs> okay, listen. I see you moving. This is just where we hang out. I really can't kill them before they come down? I don't think they come down. Do they just roast me? Oh. You just sent the elevator away. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of convinced there would be like a fire thing. Cause he's... I think it's coming back. <gasps> I didn't expect up. They never expect up. Well, I'm glad I stopped. Okay. If you go down there, there's no coming back. Okay, let's go. Let's see up. What's up, dog? Granny looks so cool. This is my hero forge, Granny. Oh. It's a Schwart cut. Oh. 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 Cool. All right, all right, all right. Mm, beautiful. We love that. We love that for us. All right, bye everyone. I would be like. Why didn't you tell me you had an elevator that went straight down there? <laughs> yeah, I could have skipped so much. I had to deal with so much bullshit. I had to kill the sad man. Demon ruins. What did the demons ruin this time? I gotta fight so many ball boys again. Oh, the squad's back. And there's the other way to go. The down? Yeah. The down, 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 down? Like uh, on the the broken stairs. Oh, you mean just this way? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to go down all the stairs, but you're probably right. And by, you're probably right. I mean, I think you were gently hinting at me. I, just, I wanted to make sure you remembered that this was also an option you had. I did, but fall damage made me not want to do it. Just makes it a little quicker. That's true. Why aren't we leveling up strength? Are we not going for one-handing the halberd? We are not. What is it, matter? We're do. It's a straight-up two-handed run. Julie has been doing it this far. Yeah. And honestly, I genuinely, because of my Dark Souls rotted brain, didn't even think about leveling up enough to one-hand it. Because I thought about it. I've played this game so many times that I forget that you use shields in it. I would forget to use my shield anyway, so it's fine. Also, it does more damage two-handed. And if you do enough damage, you don't have to block. Oh, no. 
but they all look like sad faces. And if you don't put points in strength, you can put more points in vitality. That's truth right there. And have the ultimate shield, which is more health. Granny lives. <laughs> I think you might just have to walk around. <laughs> just keep slingshotting yourself. <laughs> this is how I'm playing Death Store. By just rolling. I don't like... I don't like this. I don't like all, all that that's happening. What's wrong, that? what's wrong with that? You, you, I don't know how I feel about all that red splooge. What's wrong with red splooge? <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> That's not the phrase we should use. Traverse the white light. That's the same that guy. Zelda. That was very Zelda. Yeah. But isn't it cool how you saw him earlier? Yeah. And you were like, look at this nasty fella. Look at this nasty little freak. He's got vents on his head. That one's got a bitty arm. That's cute. Well, I can't, like, go into the lava. Can you, like... I see. Mm, I, I see. see. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I see. How my titsies? I got no shoes on. Hmm. I see. Uh -huh. This is a better place to fight him over here, so. I don't know if I'd say up there is a better place. <laughs> Seems a little dangerous. Here was my thought process. Get the high ground like Obi-Wan Kenobi? No. My thought process was, well, if I can't go to him, and there's no place for him to come to me, Maybe the thing I have to do is use the environment. What's available? Lava. Oh, lava will hurt him <laughs> as he's actively walking through lava. All right, so this fight. <laughs> it's not one where you like, get to see what's happening in this one. I'm not mad at all. I wasn't trying to swing overhead. Instead, Granny was just like, what if I go here? What if I just sweep the lava real fucking fast? <laughs> well, if you do the second hit of the combo, it's always a horizontal sweep. But that fight's uh, notoriously, you know, not great. That might be the maddest I've gotten in this game. That right then? Yeah. That's crazy, because you that's not even a hard fight. You'll just win this time. I know, <laughs> but it should have been done. <laughs> yeah, but it's not even going to be a big deal. 
No, but it's stupid. Uh, like, I think typical wisdom for that fight is to not lock on. Like, if, if my character just swung the freaking correct way, you don't even waste my time. Then I wouldn't have to be doing this run back. Well, the, the swing was not the game's fault. That was your fault. The How? I was pressing attack. If you swing horizontal, you're in the wrong part of the combo. Do I have control over what direction she swings in? Yeah. How? Well, the first hit's always vertical and the second hit's always horizontal. Okay. Am I com being confused about what you're saying? I I was literally just pressing attack, and then the the first attack she would do would just be like a, oh, I'm searching for rings on the beach. I don't think that can be the halberd's first attack. Maybe, or was it the rolling attack? Maybe. I think the rolling attack is a sweep. Is that the move you do when you're getting up from being down? It might have, maybe it was that. Because every time I was getting up, she would just be like, look for coins on the beach. Listen, it's okay. Just come over here. Come here. Yeah, it is, it is as you said. The, the coming out of a dodge attack is a sweep. So I think that's what gotcha. Standing. Nice, Granny. Look at that, you crushed it. Stupid. It wasn't even a problem. You should have been done the first time. It was, you got it done the second time. That ring's very important, I'll tell you that. I kind of figured. Does it let me w walk on lava? Yes. Yes. Uh, I changed Hovel's ring, right? Yeah, if you take off the other one, it'll break. Yeah. Unfortunately, it'll probably make you slow move for a while, but... That's all right. We do what we gotta do here. You you passed it. Uh, it's down, yeah. Oh, this? Yeah. Blue. Thank you. Oh, stupid. It, it's fine. You did great. I don't like that. You're not supposed to like it. You're just supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, fair. It also wasn't like the worst fight. It was just like. It's really funny. The walking in lava is so loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the waveforms, it's so loud. <laughs> How's everybody enjoying this? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh! Uh, 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 sun, for some reason, is I uh, can only say Soleil. <laughs> It's Solaire. Solaire! Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. The sun? It's up. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. What's he looking for? Do 
Do I have something? He's looking for his son. S U N. Oh, you can get a couple levies out of that. I can get one. You can one get one. Levy. Well, you should probably maybe pop a soul. It might be worth it. Mm, yeah, you're right. You are correct, sir. Which one should I pop? Pop a Got 14 of these. brave warrior, a couple brave warriors. That was a lot, actually. That was a lot. We overshot. <laughs> but that's fine. All right. You're level 69. Hey. Nice. That's fun. Yeah, I regret to inform you, Solaire is not gonna fare super well on your on your file here. I didn't do the, the thing. I it's, didn't do the The, the save Solaire quest line is um convoluted. It takes a while. And it's difficult. You gotta do some grinding. Julia, please. Please, it's so loud. <laughs> about to enter everyone's favorite place. Uh -huh. The realm of the dragon butts. Ooh. But you don't really need to worry about them. They don't They don't do wow. <laughs> They don't do anything. Wow. Welcome to Lost Isolith. That's so many butts. So in the original release of this game, mm -hmm. the dragon butts had like a massive aggro range. And oh. this was like literal hell on earth coming mm -hmm. here. But then they like patched it, but now they like don't, <laughs> they like don't aggro at all. They just sort of stand around. Good for them. I like that they literally stand on the lava. Yeah. Like the lava is like a, a plate of glass, which is like an effect going on underneath it. Yeah, this is definitely the territory of um, we ran out of game dev time. And you can tell. <laughs> I think that's what's so cool about Elden Ring to me, is that Elden Ring is like Dark Souls where they they never ran out of budget or time. I don't know what what this thing is, this little this little thing, but it looks like an old lady face, like it looks like Grandmother Willow's face. It's just the tail of a dragon butt. Do you see what I mean, though? I do see what you mean. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody headbang along. Yeah! Got another brave warrior, so. <laughs> There's so many of them. There's so many of them. There's a lot of them. Oh boy. Oh, this one's coming for me. Okay. Okay, you do that. Good job, ball boy. You did it. <laughs> you tried your best. You tried your best. <laughs> I'm proud of I'm you. I'm proud of you. you I want to be an best. asset. <laughs> I want to... Uh, <laughs> and every screen from here on out. Oh, there's a thing up there. There's a thing everywhere in this freaking place. Oh, one of them's on you. You've angered a dragon butt. Some have said it's impossible to do. He's over it. Or is he? Oh my god. 
Fall boy. I have you now. Right where I wanted you. I even dinked off the side. And I still killed him. Hey, dink off. Oh my god, it's literally... They're literally butts. Yeah. I... I just thought I wasn't perceiving the other half of the dragons. Why did you think we were calling them dragon butts? Just because all their butts were facing me. That's what I thought. What? Amazing. It's just the back half. I, uh, so I did a, this is related. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I promise. I did a world building class, uh, part of the Drawfee Patreon. Uh, if you're a, a draw class, a learner tier that's available now, you can watch it whenever you want. If you're not, you can watch the VOD on Drawfee Extra. Um, but I learned something in my research because I looked up like a bunch of examples of good world building and, and how they've done it. Uh, one of them, of course, was Dark Souls. And I learned that I was, I was learning a bunch about the dragons, about how there's the, an undead dragon. And then there's like a drake, and it's supposed to, you know, the, the cool drake that you fight in the beginning of the game, kind of. Um, the one who like torches yeah, the bridge. Yeah, the one who gives you the drake sword. Yes. If you slice his tail. Um, but I was reading that it's supposed to be like the dragons who were this great um, uh, creature. These great creatures uh, have like become these horrible decrepit versions of themselves with time and have just like truly fallen and have rotted away and it's supposed to like show how far this place has gone that even the majestical well respected dragons are now these horrible creatures that are that barely look like themselves except for the one that's outside but that uh, evolved into something else entirely I thought it was cool well, the lore of the dragons in the game mm -hmm. is that they were, uh... I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you should tell me now. Yeah! <laughs> they were immortal. They were everlasting dragons. They right. could not be killed until the age of man sort of rose up, the age of the gods and Gwyn and his armies were the only ones who were able to strike them down. So they did go from being like basically the only living creatures who could never die mm -hmm. to being struck down and brought low by the rise of mankind. And all their asses landed down here. All their asses landed down here. And those asses cannot die. How many times do it's you think you're gonna that cannot quit. run in a circle around this building? I was running around circles only around the other building. That one. Oh, okay. This is the first time I'm over here. A ball boy hit me! That was my fault. It's because I was talking to you. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't really feel like I need to go over there. So where am I supposed to be going? That way? That way, maybe? That's cool. I kind of want to look at that, but I don't want to put everyone through an auditory nightmare. You're I'm going to do it. You're going to have to walk through Bob when I get where you go. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm trying to, like, stand on solid ground and then look around and then, like, decide where to go. But I got to explore a little bit. I'm in the time of my life where I need to explore a little bit. It's something unpredictable, but in the end, it's right. I hope you've had the time of your life in Dark Souls. You, you can't get through there. And why I would you even... There. There's nothing over there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why would you even want to get through there? I do enjoy like the look of Lost Isolith, like this part of it. It is super cool. Like the architecture has got sort of like a, 
I don't know, like a Mayan or something. I was going to say like Mayan meets maybe like Indonesian. Yeah, something like which that. Is a, which is a wild combo, but yeah. awesome. But I like that it looks like it was a different civilization that's like buried down here. Oh, this place sucks to fight in here. Huh? It's just ball boys. But it, like it sucks because I don't have like good armor. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one, he's stuck on a statue of himself. Oh god, they were getting it on a little bit. That one's not even real. You know what it kind of reminds me of? In what? A, in a very general way. Uh, the, 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 Mufal the Mufaletta or the Mufalata or whatever they're called in, in The Subtle Knife. Mufaletta's a sandwich. Yeah, I know, but there's something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I forget what they're called, and I always confuse them with a the damn sandwich. <laughs> it's not the sandwich's fault, it's my stupid brain's You know what this fault, reminds you know what I mean? me of? A big sandwich. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I do know the, what you mean. You mean the weird motorcycle. The fella, thank you. The motorcycle guys. Yeah, the little one-wheel, tiny arms... things. The Mufella. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't like those guys in the book. Uh, I, were... re I read the description and I was like, this sounds like the dumbest shit I've ever imagined in my brain. Yeah, I kind of just accepted that they were supposed to be like in a totally new world. So it was yeah. going to be really weird. I, I got the reasoning but, and I, yeah. I appreciated the reasoning, but I couldn't stop thinking of them just being like, doop, doop, here we go. Wheeling in. Oh, you, need me to make, you, need me to, you need me to make a spyglass? Okay. I'll help you get that, Amber. I'm like, this is... How would you do anything if you were living like that? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm convinced sometimes Philip Pullman's just like, eh, whatever. Whatever about this part. It's not important. It's not the point of the story. Yeah. <laughs> I love those books, as I've said. Oh yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying that you're you're dissonant or anything. Yeah. They are. They are very silly creatures. I'm allowed to criticize the things I love. Yeah. Especially. I have a big golden compass tattoo, you know. Of a Mufaletta. <laughs> <laughs> it is the sandwich, yeah. <laughs> I confused it when I was like reading the book. Because I knew of the sandwich. Double boy kill. Double boy kill. You're doing great. It really feels like you just came to these boys' home. Oh, yeah. And are just like eliminating them. A hundred percent. Bet you wish you had a jump button right about now. God, do I ever. Oh, they tried to hide this item from you, but they couldn't do it. A lot of brave warrior souls. I really like the design of the back of this cloak. I keep like catching little glimpses of it. You can't really see it that well. You can see it when she's moving. Look at that. Like that little purple part under the little Roman looking epaulets. I can't see a purple part, but that's because of mine eyes. Yeah, but it's like this, this like gold, like triangular detail that's underneath these like little feather things. Now here's a friend. I don't like it. He's a he's your friend. I take it back, he rules. Oh no! Now he rules. <laughs> I'm not fighting him because I want to hear him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Granny like couldn't decide if she was into it or not. I love the noise they make. That was like a Whoville instrument. As I recall, that's like the only one of those. Unless I'm misremembering. 
Uh, like, I want more of them, but it's kind of cool that there's only one. No, there's more? Shit. I thought that was a, a tall <clears throat> enemy, and a, I was really scared of a it. A tenemy. A tenemy, but then it was a, a root. There's a few more. Are there more that you encounter like in your normal playthrough? Or do you, is it only if you're? Who are you? Oh, shit. Okay. You, you have to stop. Are you me? Are I mean, you old me? You're wearing the pyromancers of Isolith's clothes. <gasps> oh, there's a fog gate. Do I want to open that now? Do I want to? Let's go encounter this guy. Yeah, you should go this way first, for sure. If I perish, I'll be so sad. Well, you're going to want to have gone this way. Okay, cool. Is this dude's job in the city was to just like put out all the little fires? Cause he looks like a little. Yeah. I mean, that's what it looks like. He's got like a little fire hose and then like the top's open to collect all the water. I just want you to walk. That's the nicest noise. He's like Mario Sunshine uh, gone too far. And just covered in eyes. Covered in this fella. eyes. Eyes a lift. Chaos fire whip. Whip. Oh my god, that rolls. Okay. Okay. You have to go to a bonfire though to, oh, dang. to equip it. What the hell was that? Who are you? Those little ball boys will always make me laugh. Burr. Burr. Someone's, Who's eat eating? Someone's eating dry food. Is that Olive? Should I put out more toony? I thought you did. I did, but should I put out more toony? Put out more toony. <gasps> Wee! So this is one of the worst bosses in the game. Mm. Um, you are gonna die. But that's fine. So I'm just gonna tell you, you're gonna want to make it to one of those side orbs as quickly as humanly possible. Side orb? Is that a side orb? Okay. Come in. Give it a give it a whack. And get in there. You think you can roll through the the get like in the roll through the, the branches and then hit the thing. There we go. So it's like a three phase boss, oh. but you're going to quickly find that there's no way for you to get to the other side. <laughs> and so you're just going to have to die. What? Like, I mean, you can try. Does the first, does, But it what? Will, the first one will stay broken. Oh. Okay. They like made it so the first one stays broken, so that it's like doable. Don't. Honestly, it's faster this way. <laughs> All right, you want to go give them some tuning? Yeah. That was stupid. That's silly. Oh, maybe we should do an ad break, actually. We're gonna do a three-minute ad break. 
Sorry, let me say that not on fire. We're gonna do a three minute ad break. Um, go do whatever you wanna do in those three minutes. We'll see you in three. I don't know where my mouse is. I would do it in three. There it is, three minutes. Decided to do an ad break. Good call. You wanna bring back up the Streamlabs? Sure. I so didn't I know what that see. message was that we just got. Who's that? Is Alive. Who was eating? I I am pretty sure there's a closer bonfire. Oh, that's all right. Whatever. But I don't remember exactly where it is. Meow 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 meow. Alec, how you feeling? How you feeling, girl? She's doing fine. Look at her. You've been getting just toony. You've been getting toony with some medicine. Illusory wall right before entering entering the ball boy zone. Oh. But I don't remember where that is exactly. I'll just start smacking walls. It's fine. Oh no. Don't give Julia permission to smack walls. I want to find the wall on my own. No one tell me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just find let's just find it. I'll find it. Oh no, I don't want to watch you smack I'm walls. I'm not I promise. I'm not going to smack all of them. Quiet Corviday, you're hoping to join Pepperoni on her next adventure because you're you got into Final Fantasy 14? Definitely. I'll be doing another stream sometime when we're somehow less busy. It's just been a, a crazy couple of weeks. And I've just been playing Elden Ring. I've not been playing Final Fantasy fourteen. That's true. But I do intend to return to it once I'm once I beat Elden Ring and then I'm taking a break from Elden Ring before I go back to playing Elden Ring after I play Final Fantasy fourteen for a while. Cause that's how we do it. Two games only. That is how we do it. I'm also playing Rune Factory five for a little bit of farming, a little bit of alarming farming. I've been doing Horizon Zero, no, Horizon Forbidden West, which is great. It's a great game, really enjoying it. Jacob got it for me while I was away. Yeah. So that was nice. Uh, and then I've also, sorry, Alice, I put my things in your mouth. Um, I've also been playing a little bit of Death Store, which is fun sometimes. Other times, <laughs> I want to scream. It makes Julia do what I do when I play Elden Ring. Yeah. When I play Elden Ring, I'm always like losing to bosses and being like, no, God, why? Yeah. And then Julia's like silently sitting on the couch. Going like ignoring me. And then I stop playing Elden Ring and Julia starts playing Death Door. And she's like, come on, <laughs> this is bullshit. And I'm sitting on the couch silently. <laughs> <laughs> well, cause the big armor boys. No, you know what it was? It was the, the enemy that was really getting me was that there's these archers that shoot really fast, but they shoot at a pace that when you, so they shoot you, you fall. By the time you get up, they shoot you. So you have to like get up and immediately roll. <coughs> so mad. I'm in the Frog King's thing. Realm. And I'm not enjoying it, I have to say. There's not like enough checkpoints and I have to do too much run back and fight too many people. So. It's a good game. I'm just not enjoying the section that I'm in. Yeah. I love this little olive tail on camera. Olive, you're gonna have to move. I'm sorry, sweetie. For me, I just go to sleep at night and in my head over and over again, I hear, I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. Instead, what I hear when I go to bed is, Miranda's mine. What's that? 
the the big dude. You defeat him. He's in front of the egg. Oh, that's Mikola again. Yeah. But I kept it's calling not, her Miranda. No, you were calling her Michaela. I was calling her Michaela. <laughs> yeah. Michaela is mine. Because when you read it, it looks like it could be Michaela. <laughs> Michaela is mine. Julia kept being like, who's Michaela? I'm like, it's not Michaela. <laughs> like She's I'm not saying, like a, who's Michaela? And you were like, a blonde I don't know who Michaela is. From the Alabama suburbs. <laughs> Michaela. Michaela Jean, you get back in here. I'm the blade of Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Your Miranda blade of Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! All right, I'm gonna go back to the game, but we should keep talking about it because it's very funny. Yeah, Julia had to hear me lose to to Moog a lot of times, and I forget his exact quote, but it is like Mikana belongs to me. Or something like that. Well, no, I think it was something like Michaela is mine because every time you'd say it, I would think of. Spoilers? Oh shit! I did spoil that, huh? <laughs> I've listened to the episode so many freaking times that I forgot it wasn't even out yet. <laughs> I spoiled my own show! That's all right. Apologize to Nathan. Yeah, I'll apologize to Nathan. No one tell anyone else that I said that. That is that is SSS only spoilers. Keep it secret, keep it safe. I'm sorry everyone. I've had to watch that episode so much. Some people didn't hear what you said because uh, of the fire. Oh, good. Okay. No one, no one say anything in chat. Everyone keep it a secret to yourself. Everyone act like I never said anything. Act like Julia's never spoken. Be cool. Everybody be cool. God, I can't believe that I did that. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I was, like, truly convinced that that episode had come out. I'm not even gonna bother. The biggest diss I can offer you is not even caring. It is soon, though, the episode. Yeah. Why am I hurt? What did I get hurt on? The lava. The lava hurts me? Yeah, just very slowly. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's interesting. It ticks you down. Tick you down to the Paradise City. All right, so we have to locate the bonfire. Yeah. It must be like right around here, right? Because they said right before the ball boy zone. Right before the ball boy zone? They're like right at the entrance of the ball boy zone. Okay. I'm just gonna look it up. No! Apparently you already passed it. I'm going back up, I'm going back up, I'm going back up. I wanna find it. Don't spoil this for me. Huh? Uh, I wanna spoil it. Okay, th this is, we're accepting this current chat backseating. Um, apparently it's in lava towers. So that will give you all the clues you need. You have all the clues. Okay. Mr. Policeman, you, I gave you all the clues. Sometimes I think about, um, come closer and look at this body and you... Look, hey! and, my, and my head is just leaving the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to no back seating. But thank you, everyone. She would have been hitting every wall in that next area and never finding anything. And it would have been the rest of the stream. 
Oh yeah, you could put on your fire whip if you wanted to. If you wanted to mess with that at all. Not that it will help you for this boss that <laughs> doesn't really take damage in a conventional way. True. Fire whip. Chaos fire whip. I love a fire whip. Isn't that what What's Her Face had in Sailor Moon? Who? Sailor Mars. Do you have a fire whip? You know, we talked about it in the Sailor Moon episode that we did. That one up, right? Yes. Okay. That one went up. The Sailor Moon episode that we did, uh, where I said that Venus, the blonde, the, the blonde one's Venus. Yeah. Uh, she has, uh, like a chain sword and no one knew what I was talking about. I looked it up. She does have a chain sword. I, I didn't like argue with you because I just didn't remember. I remember watching Sailor Moon Crystal and being like, and like jumping in my chair. I was so surprised. At the chain sword? Yeah. Because I never really watched the original Sailor Moon. Oh. I, I watched like an episode in passing here and here and again. Um, but uh, I never really got to anything like that I could comprehend, storyline yeah. wise or whatever. Sometimes it would just be like Sailor Moon in a wedding dress, dying, and I'd be like. Um, Mac Timo asked if they needed to play all the Souls games to get Elden Ring. Absolutely not. No. You don't need to play any of them to play any of them. You can play Dark Souls 3 only, and it won't make any difference to you. They're as related as the Draw Detective seasons are, which is to say not. Well, they're even less related. That's true. <laughs> But Elden Ring is completely unrelated. It's a totally separate lore. Nice try, bud. <laughs> oh, you almost got gotcha. you. I almost had you that time. Whoa. Who's splorting? I think it's this guy. Ah. <gasps> yes. Dark Souls is as inscrutable if you play one game versus all of them. That is correct. Oh, the eyes are... Oh, that's a lot of things. You can get in there. Get put in there. I uh, assumed. It's never happened to me personally. I think most people don't... I think you should just leave him be. He's got... He's dealing with his own stuff. I don't think he needs... He's got his own stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying out some stuff. All right. Um. Anyways. Yeah. That that enemy. A lot of people don't see the move where it grabs you and eats you because by the time you get here, usually you like two shot it. Right. Running around at the speed of sound. Granny's poor feet. <laughs> <laughs> They're like hardened leather by now. She feels nothing. Oh! Can't get that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was so casual. It was just like. <laughs> Like a thing off a table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eh. 
<laughs> that was some Jacob timing. That really was. I'm not even mad. That was very funny. Oh, very good. Just a little show. <laughs> it was really casual. Oh, good. <clears throat> All right, boys. I'm going to try to do a run pass. You can totally do it. These guys are easy to run past. Because it like takes them a million years to wind up their fire breath anyways. That's true. They can't really like catch you out. And once you go down the slide... They ain't catching me. It's too late. Doop, 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 doop. Uh oh. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See I'll just you. Go. I'll just go. See you next time. Think, <laughs> think, 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 think. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Who did? That, it's that was outside. Olive. Oh, no, that was Olive. He's looking outside. Something happened out there. <laughs> I really just wanted to see what would happen. And I truly just... I didn't care very much. <laughs> that wasn't the right way to go. <laughs> It was it wasn't quite the right one, but <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> that's what happens. It's all right. It's fine. You dunked yourself. I did. And then Bed of Chaos is gonna put the floor back and be like, okay. Joy's eating out of the bowl. Did she go up there? Seems like she went up there. I hear the like a clinking. Joy. We're like upset with her because she's not supposed to do that, but also that just means she's eating more medicine, so. So we can't be too upset. Yeah, I agree. We only give them tuna if we like have to slip them medicine or if they are like sick. Like, basically... Oh. It, like, crotch bumps me. Anyway. Red tight knife bumps me. Um... If they are very sick, and we need to slip the medicine in the food... <gasps> Cookie. This one got crunchy. That one got crunchy? Yeah. Well, I left the last batch a little longer in the in the pan to get like a little crunchy bottom. It got it got crunchy all the way through. <gasps> crunchy, all, is that good? No, it's better when it's softer. Okay, yeah. I was like- All the other I ones have been great. experimenting a little but bit. But this one is crunchy. Since it's the first time I was making those cookies. Um, we also gave them, well, we gave olive tuna when she had FIP and she wouldn't eat. Uh, but that's basically the only time she give them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made orange sugar cookies, basically, at Jacob's request. They're sugar cookies my friend made in college. They're really good. And they're basically just sugar cookies with orange zest, a whole orange's worth of orange zest in them. Yeah. And they're freaking delicious. <laughs> you can roll. <laughs> you can roll. Basetastic said this looks like a fun fight. It's orange zest, so you zest the peel. Yeah. Into the mixture. 
There's actually, you don't put any orange juice in it. Nope. Only zest. Basically, take a sugar cookie recipe and put orange zest in it. A whole orange's worth of zest. And that's it. And then it's you delicious. you take sugar mm -hmm. and you like wet the bottom of a cup yep. and dip it in the sugar and yep. then smush the cookie with it so it gets a sugar coating on top. And then you bake it. And then you bake it. It's real good. It's like buttery. They're, and they're incredibly addictive. Yeah. Oh, I got a red Titanite shard. Whoa, my face blinked in real fast. I didn't see it. It was alarming. Anyway, you dropped one of those. I'm only bringing it up because when you dropped it, it was gold. The red Titanite? Yeah, it was like a gold item instead of like white. Yeah. I mean, you just don't need it because you have a maxed out weapon. Miss Olive's got energy. Upgrade materials are, are nothing to you. All right. Will I get to the orb this time? Yeah. Don't think so. I think so. Oh, Olive. Look at it's going crazy. She's going bananas. <laughs> it's just really funny. What am I doing wrong? You can also, um, like, bait out the swipe and then, like, kind of wait for it and then run by. That's another option. Exact same thing. Savage. <laughs> Savage. You're just getting the feel for it. You're getting the feel for it. I don't feel like I've gotten a lock on anything in that fight. There is. This is one of those fights you just gotta. You just gotta get through it. I will say. This is the only remaining fight in the game mm -hmm. that I will describe that way. Okay, because it, it has been two of those today. This whole area is regarded as the they ran out of time area. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame, because again, the environment's yeah. really rad. Love it. Because Demon Fire Sage is just the first boss again, but on fire. Yeah. Centipede Demon is kind of whack. Yeah. And then this boss is stupid. Is Dan in the chat? Is that why people are talking about Dan? Or Who's did, talking about Dan? Or did Dan bully me yesterday uh, during Raft? I don't remember. Oh, Dan is in chat. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Dan, I'm having a bad time. Dan, I saw your crazy fucking boat. Boat plane. It's... Nutso. It's so cool. That's fine. I'll get I'll get a little squishy. Granny, you stand. Granny, you might want to chug. Here's what I recommend. Equip a shield. <laughs> Your weapon's actually meaningless in this fight. In, in your... Well, not in your right hand. Whatever shield you can find that has max block, you'll need to toggle display to see. Yeah, that should do.
Because you can just punch yeah. it. You can punch your yeah. way in. Yeah. Oh, I have to attack the the thing though. You unequipped your halberd for some reason. Because that's what I do. Dan is allowed to backseat slash bully me. He's earned the right. You don't have to put the halberd away. You can keep both of them out. <laughs> but yeah, you can kind of like stand, you kind of like run and block through. Mm -hmm. The thing that hits you from above, you can't block that, but the sweeps you can block. As I recall. Dan says run further left. That's also good advice. We did the left one. I didn't really see space to go left. I'll try. It's just kind of like take the inside track. You know? At least we get to see our friend again. I know, I love him. I'm still not tired of him. Doop -doop 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 He hit you, what the hell? Hit me a few times. It's all right. That's not what friends are for. I know. That's why I have to kill him repeatedly. It's a pretty shield. Oh, what a pretty fire. <laughs> like how you put the helmet away again. It's one or the other. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but you can just punch your way through. What the hell was that? Some branches. All right, here we go. And then put, then put the shield down when you're not blocking to so you get your stand back. And then block it when it swings. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a freaking comedy. <laughs> so it does always follow up a forward swing or the back swing. What you can do is is rotate. <laughs> this is so stupid. To block the back swing with this the shield. This is so dumb. Okay. I can't believe this is the boss I'm gonna have the most tries on. <laughs> this boss is the worst. It's like nothing. It's just like something you have to do. It's I defeated. Stupid. I defeated Tall Boy, Big Boy in four tries. But, uh. A tree, well, going bananas, can't do it. <laughs> the tree that swing at you. The tree that swing at me can't do it. Nito is Onito is still ahead in terms of being annoying, or in terms of tries. Tries, maybe. Definitely still ahead in terms of tries. Olive, what are you doing? She's going around. Olive's like trying to continue. Oh, she flipped. I think he tried to grab me at this one. Or something. <sighs> she got her pink bean. Pink little toe bean. She has so much energy. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Olive does this thing where she's play. like trying to keep calm, so she like cleans really furiously and then flips around. Was Dan the one who said he likes Bed of Chaos? Who said that? Who said this? Someone in chat said they like Bed of Chaos a while back. And we need to have a conversation. 
I didn't like the sentiment. It was, it Dan. was Dan. <laughs> Daniel? <laughs> Dan, counterpoint. No, you don't. <laughs> you lied. Is this the back swing? Is this the, the slam? Forward swing. Back swing might be coming. I think you made it safety now. Roll through. Keep rolling. And then punch. You just had to punch. <laughs> okay, only one more phase. Dan says he will have this fight if he must. <laughs> he will defend the bed of chaos. We're gonna have to have Dan on the stream again so that me and Dan can have a heated debate. Yeah. So now you gotta get in the middle. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's better to die because then you can just run straight straight i think you do have to make like a jump it's, it's gonna be hard for you it's not gonna be good oh god this is stupid Dan, I'm not enjoying Bed of Chaos. It's because Bed of Chaos is not enjoyable. Although... Ellie, I am enjoying him more than Nito. Eliatic Dropout. El Eliatic Dropout. So these are the funniest games ever made, and I do agree on that point. Jacob literally said this yesterday. I'm always trying to tell people who like don't play any of these games and they're like, oh, they're just games people play because they're like, oh, I'm such a hard gamer Game Boy. Yeah. I play the hardest games only. And it's like, the people that love these games, that's usually not why. I think a big part of the reason is that the games are genuinely really funny. What was the thing that you found really funny last time? We both found it funny. It was like some enemy popped up or something. The I don't remember. It was really goofy. I don't remember, but I've I've laughed at Elden Ring so many times. I think it's so funny. This thing it's is great. Very quiet. Yeah. Quiet tunnel. Oh. Hot feet, hot, hot feet. Hot feet, all that friction. So the middle's gonna like collapse as you run up to it and you're gonna have to make a jump. You should have just kept running straight. So you're gonna have to make a jump onto that branch. Nicely done. Roll in. Oh, I don't understand to roll. This is why. This is why. <laughs> You're forgetting in your coddled Elden Ring brain how hard it is to transition from one thing to another with one button. I No, I know it is. I just really wanted you to get it. Oh, I mean, so did I. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. The jump was great, and this time you're gonna miss that jump. This is the oh. flow of the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll yeah, make yeah, the yeah, jump yeah, the yeah. first time, but then get knocked off. Second, then third times, you'll miss the jump. Yeah. I still think about Clam Town. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's really funny. Family. When there's just a big room full of clams that stand up and run at you. And they, they kick your ass. The lobster in Elden Ring, the lobster that shoots you, a at, straight up lobster, a straight up sniper grab. fire distance. That lobster is funny. I'm not scared of anything as much as I am the lobster. 
It is the the I think the loudest I've ever heard you yell is when you go, Oh I got a crab <laughs> Yeah. If I see a crab or a lobster, that's the scariest shit in, in, in these games. This is such a funny effect. The things breaking behind me, the the fire feet. Whoop! No, nope. nope. I knew it. I just panicked. It's okay. We're learning. The birds with swords on their feet are really funny. Cause it's literally just like based on their feet. And all the bird all the big birds have these swords on their feet. Yeah. Who put them there? <laughs> Why? Did the birds do it themselves? How do they stand on anything? Did the birds choose to attach blades to their feet? Turtle Pope as well. Hilarious. You love Turtle Pope? He lives in your heart. Turtle Pope is my hero. I don't even find Turtle Pope funny. He's just endearing. Turtle Pope's just endearing. He just fills me with a happiness I cannot describe. Thought right said when Patches immediately leaves that one boss fight. Yes. That's incredibly funny. You summon him up, he takes one look at the boss, and then he unsummons himself. Patches like has returned to his world. They understand you don't have to, like, make a joke. Yeah. But it's like, it's funny in the way that I found the new Batman movie funny, in that the Batman movie's very serious. And then like, here's a joke at just like kind of the ridiculousness or self-seriousness of it. Yeah. It's very good. I think it's a similar type of effect where these games take themselves very seriously and then simultaneously will do the goofiest shit with a completely straight face. They'll stare you right in the eye yeah, with, without smiling and show you the silliest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Well, it's like you had described it the other day as my sense of humor, my style of comedy. It really is. Of just presenting you with this ridiculous thing. And then just like watching you react to it. Yeah. Oh, he was clearing the card table. He was clearing the card table. He always does too. In this phase. Um, yeah. Now yeah. We've learned. Now we've learned. Did I tell you that we broke in and just Yeah, well I did you didn't tell me, but I heard I heard a lot of the stream. Yes. from the bedroom yeah our apartment's not big no and you get loud when you talk to dan well also i think i was wearing my big headphones for some reason is that true you i don't know why you would have been but in either case i was loud. you and dan feed off each other's energy yes and volume it up yes yes see when you stream with me yes. i sap the energy from the room. No, you know like what a, it is? It's like a gr grim, like a like a grim star. Uh, uh, Harry Potter suck suck you lord. Death eater. Death eat. No. No. A suck you lord. A suck you lord. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck are they called? Dementor. Thank you. Thank you. A suck you lord. <laughs> <laughs> Jk would have named it suck you lord. Let's be real. Um, but actually what happens is that Dan, um, if you watched yesterday's stream, probably know, Dan, Dan goes off on a point, and I'm not saying that this is a bad thing, um, Dan, Dan gets very into what Dan is saying, and gets loud, and then when you need to break through the, the mind palace that Dan is stuck in, <laughs> when he is uh, uh, talking about something he's passionate about. And again, I'm not knocking him. Uh, ow. Um, you, you gotta be loud. You gotta be loud to get in there. She 
She's made the jump. Yes, yes, yes. She's doing it! Keep rolling. Keep rolling. You're so close. Hit it. Oh, I'm trying! You did it. Again, you can just punch that thing. It dies in one hit to any attack. <laughs> Yay! She's done it! She's a gamer! I'm a gamer. And just in time. It literally just ticked over to two hours. Wow! Isn't well that amazing? Timed. That was perfect. That was beautiful. You took down three bosses in this stream. Did I? Yeah. Centipede? Mm-hmm. Oh, lava, sad lava boy. Forgot about sad lava boy. Sad lava boy? Why yeah. is he sad? Well, isn't his storyline sad? Does he have like sisters or something? And then he's like. Oh, you sad. beat four bosses. Oh. You keep forgetting Demon Fire Sage. Who? The big guy with the explosion hammer. Oh, I did forget about him. You've I forgotten him twice <laughs> in this stream since you beat him. Yeah. Just goes to show you what a memorable boss he is. Yeah, yeah, he was great, and I had a good I time. I forgot you also did Ceaseless Discharge. Uh, so I, I defeated Ceaseless Discharge. I defeated... Um, big Dumpy. Big, <laughs> big Bonker. Big Dumpy Bonker. Big Dumpy Bonker. I defeated this guy, and I defeated... Centipede. That's yes, four. that's four. Four bosses down, another Lord defeated... You have one lord left. And then, after you beat that lord, we'll probably head into the DLC. Is it the lord? It's the lord god. The lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. It's the only god in my heart. No, you finally get to go to New Londo. The dark city that you always see. I'm picturing this like... So I call on Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Right? Yeah. And what's in Orlando, Florida? Disney World or land. I can never remember. It's world. So I imagine that new Londo has Disneyland. Is it like Disneyland to Disney World? But Disneyland came first. Yes. So on Orlando should be Disneyland if the metaphor is to work. But Orlando contains Disney World. Therefore, the metaphor is fundamentally broken. So... It's fundamentally broken. Uh, thanks yeah. for watching, everyone. Yeah, thanks. Oh, our cat's up there. We're done. We're done. Trophy stream tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We have a special guest. We do have a special guest. We have a it's special gonna, guest it's tomorrow. It's going to be fun. No one be alarmed. Nathan won't be there. But Nathan, we have a yeah. special guest to make up for Nathan's absence. Nathan is the anti-guest. Yes. Um, Nathan's taking the day off tomorrow to yeah. do some stuff. Uh, and then uh, we'll be back on Wednesday. And then this weekend, Drawfee has Mocha, which means that we probably won't stream on Sunday. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. I imagine we'll be exhausted. Yeah, if you're in New York City, uh, come see us uh, at Mocha Fest. It's in the Metropolitan Pavilion. It's on 18th Street. Um, we'll all be there. Uh, come see us. Come say hi. Look it up. MochaFest.com. That's it. That's it. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow night on Drawfee. Goodbye. 